welcome back to the channel. This is Phoenix EOD's Furies. No, not furries. That has two R's. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is Furies. This is a wheel cleaner and an iron remover all in one. There are many sizes to choose from. 8 ounce, 16 ounce, 32 ounce, and gallon size, ranging in price from $9 to $49.99. I could do a short demonstration on the same vehicle, both wheels and painted surfaces. The paint is white, so it will make it easier when you spray the iron remover, ferrous metal remover onto the surface. It will turn a bright red uh, on wheels. It will as well if there's uh, ferrous metal particles embedded into the face of the wheel. If not, it will just start to break down brake dust. Mist a nice thick layer onto the wheel or whatever surface you're working on and let it dwell for three minutes or so. And that's going to depend on your environment, of course. You can either then after those three minutes rinse or you can agitate. Uh, I believe I'm going to agi agitate, especially in the corners of the wheels here. Um, that was uh, some heavy duty brake dust. You can see it breaking down uh, all that muck in the barrel of the wheel. There's also a bit of tar. Uh, brake dust, all kinds of stuff in there. We'll see what it can break down. I'm going to agitate the barrel of the wheel with a simple wheel woolly. Mine's starting to fall apart here. I'm going to have to switch over to my new set. And then for the face of the wheel, just a eh, soft to medium bristled uh, detailing brush will do to get in and around the lug nut areas and the rest of the face of the wheel. That's driving me crazy that Wooly's going directly into the dumpster after the video. Uh, but as you can see, it's doing a great job. There are a few bits and pieces of tar, uh, bonded tar in the barrel of the wheel. And when you're finished, you can either break down even further with Citral 266 or just uh, uh, another treatment and then scrape off with, say, a plastic putty knife or so. By the way, I'm indoors today uh, doing the rinseless uh, version of a wheel cleaning. But if you're outdoors and bright sunlight and heat starts to dry the cleaner before you're done agitating, simply grab your hose or your pressure washer or your rinseless and the water will reactivate it so you can rinse uh, the soap and the residue free from the surface. Okay, coming along nicely, the wheel has been deep cleaned by the Furies, and it has been both rinsed and pre-treated with the rinseless wash afterwards, and now I can wipe down, dry, and mop up any remaining dirt or moisture. I've been often asked how I do take care uh, or address the wheels when I'm doing a quote-unquote rinseless wash, and this is how I approach it. There's no wrong answer. Many ways to attack a dirty wheel. This is how I do it. And there we go. It does a fantastic job. A little bit of road tar in the barrel of the wheel. I'll address that, and I will go over it one more time in and around the spokes with some more specialized tools to reach them. 
and we can move on. The Furies is safe to use on and effective on steel, alloy, chrome, uh, painted, powder coated, um, uncoated, and anodized aluminum wheels. We can also use it as an iron remover, ferrous metal remover on painted surfaces as well. And uh, the color here will help show any of the bleeding color as the um, Furies starts a exothermal reaction with the ferrous metal that's embedded into the clear that changes the shape and the uh, chemistry in and around the enlarged piece so we can either rinse it free or if you clay afterwards you can pick it out with the clay bar. And then within that three minute window of letting it dwell on the paint you'll see it start to turn red where it's working on that ferrous metal. Again, if it starts to dry a bit, you can hit it with water. It will reactivate it once again to be rinsed free. If you're doing a contact wash outside, just get your hose or your pressure washer and rinse off from there and wash those areas once again. If you're doing a rinseless wash, I'm going to uh, rinse and pre-treat at the same time with my rinseless wash solution and continue on normally from there. From here you can move on to the next step if you're going to clay it or if you're going to start the paint correction but uh, the current step during the decon process is now complete with the Furies wheel cleaner and ferrous metal remover for paint. So that's what we use at the shop. I will put a link down below if you want to investigate further. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. If you have any questions you know what to do. And I'll catch you in the next video.